The perplexing thing about Einsteinian general relativistic gravitation that still mystifies me and experts is that when you add matter to the universe, it actually makes it expand faster, which is counterintuitive. You would think if there was more gravity in the Earth's surface, the ball would, or the apple would actually fall down even quicker, which it would. In the case of when we describe the expansion of the universe, we're talking about its velocity, not its acceleration. So there's a crucial distinction. The universe can have objects moving faster away from each other, and that doesn't involve necessarily their acceleration. So what Einstein did to counteract that fact, he was a pretty smart guy, right? He looked around and he said, well, the universe doesn't seem to be collapsing, so there must be some hidden form of energy that we don't observe. Unobserved matter, he called the cosmological term. We later call it the cosmological constant, and now we call it dark energy, as you proposed. What that does is by adding in matter, you get anti-gravity, or you add in energy, pure energy, you get a form of anti-gravity. Almost as if, you know, it's the comic book hero's uh, dream that you could suspend gravity, that you could freeze the motion of objects that tend to want to uh, combine with one another. So he then had a mechanism, contrived as it was, to explain why the universe appeared static, as it did in 1919. But then, as I mentioned earlier, when Hubble observed the universe is in fact not static, Herr Einstein, the universe is expanding, then Einstein had the brilliance, the humility, and the confidence to say, I was wrong. And uh, supposedly, he called the insertion of the cosmological term his biggest blunder. So the dark energy phenomenon causes not only a reversal of the collapse of the universe's infall of all these galaxies or raisins that would be coming together, it not only freezes them in their tracks, it actually reverses that process. So instead of just expanding linearly, smoothly, as Hubble would envision us doing, actually the universe starts to accelerate. So it's as if you're pushing down on the cosmic accelerator pedal. These galaxies are not only moving apart, but tomorrow they'll be moving apart even faster faster. At a given distance, they'll be moving apart faster than they are. So I always joke, you know, it was a blunder of Einstein to call that blunder his blunder, uh, because it wasn't a blunder at all. I always say, I like to throw in, you know, it's too bad that he made that blunder, otherwise he could have had a good career.